Hello, welcome to CTN Member Highlight. I'm Leslie McVeigh, and today my guests are AmeriCorps volunteers with Learning Works Ames High AmeriCorps program. I have with me Eli, Iman, and Steve. Um, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've all come to the program for various reasons, and I guess we'll start with Eli. Sure. Um, tell me why you came to this program and how long you've been with it. So when I started my higher education, I guess, uh, my focus was on trying to make some sort of impact. Uh, and upon completion of that, I, like many others, didn't have much to do. Um, so I was looking for programs where I would have some sort of impact on the greater community. I uh, stumbled upon the Ames High program, applied, and that was this past summer. Uh, I was accepted and have been here ever since. That's terrific. And how about you, Iman? Um, well, when I first came to America, I knew that I had to, everybody was so welcoming and the community was just great, and I knew that I had to give back in some sort of way. And I uh, worked a lot with children when I was in Egypt, and uh, I volunteered a lot. And I know that AmeriCorps connects people with volunteers with people who can really benefit from their time and personal attention. So um, I applied to AmeriCorps, and uh, especially at East End, because East End is really diverse, and a lot of people are immigrants, and I know that I can connect to them in a way that nobody else can, kind of. That's terrific. Steve? Thanks, Leslie. Uh, I'm a retiree. Uh, I was doing some work, uh, and still am, with the Riverton Boys and Girls Club in Portland, and the director uh, of that club thought I might like to work with some of the Boys and Girls Club kids <coughs> uh, at the local elementary school, the Riverton Elementary School. Uh, so she sort of brokered me into that, uh, which I very much appreciated. Uh, and to do that, I had to become an AmeriCorps volunteer. Well, it all sounds so exciting. I, every time I interview some of the AmeriCorps volunteers, I want to sign up, <laughs> just leave my job and go do AmeriCorps because you really do make a difference in the lives of the people you work with. Tell me about some of the challenges and some of the really great rewards you, you get, um, whoever would like to go first. Okay, well, I work with predominantly um, ELL students, mm -hmm. so that's students who are English language learners, uh, and these may be, they're students from all walks of life. They may be new arrivals, or they may have been here for a few years, but are still trying to acclimate themselves to the language. Uh, and this, it creates a few different, I wouldn't say problems, but just hurdles that myself and the teacher that I work under have to overcome. Um, Communication is a big one, obviously. Uh, but there's also a lot of background of the students that might not be readily apparent. Um, a lot of things going on at home, going on in their past, and that's another hurdle that we have to overcome. And so working with these students, it's you're trying to teach them English and teach them um, to communicate, but as well you're trying to give them a safe space where they can feel like they can learn and have that ability to grow. Right, that sounds amazing. And you are, where are you doing this program? I'm doing this at East End Community School. Okay, and Iman, how about you? I think Eli said it perfectly. A lot of students have a lot of baggage that they just carry around and we don't realize this because a lot of them are just really young, but once you actually get to deal with them personally and give them your personal attention, they open up. And that's the best part about this. They kind of blossom, even with their peers, and it's just really rewarding. It's as Eli said, they feel, they know they have a safe space yeah, to be definitely. who they are yeah. and learn. Yeah. That's great. Steve, how about you? Uh, I would pick up on that um, and uh, second and third it. Uh, both the Riverton Boys and Girls Club and the Riverton Elementary School, where I do volunteer stuff, uh, I think are terribly successful, well-run operations. And a real, real big part of their success is how good they are at creating an environment for the kids that the kids can experience as being emotionally trustworthy. Um, and I think I and we as AmeriCorps volunteers participate in this creation of an emotionally trustworthy environment uh, reinforce the success of 
these institutions that these institutions are already having. And it's just terribly, terribly rewarding. The kids uh, are so wonderful. And all of the adults at both places where I do volunteer stuff, uh, I couldn't praise them highly enough, their dedication, their caring for the kids. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. And now the three of you are working in the Portland area, but there are other areas, um, South Portland, Jay, um, uh, some other places mm -hmm. where AmeriCorps is. Do you choose where you want to be or are you placed where the most need is? When you apply, you're given or you're able to give preference uh, mm -hmm. in this is for things like where you're currently located, um, what age group that you want to work with. The Greater Portland schools are elementary schools. However, Jay and Karabek High Schools are the other two locations we're at. And so obviously that's a different level of student. Um, but as well, they take into account um, what the need is into where you're placed. That's great. Um, tell me about the training program. Is it a long? process once you decide to become an AmeriCorps volunteer. Um, you go through an application process mm -hmm. and then some training. Um, who would like to speak about that? Um, Iman, maybe? Um, it's, it's not a long process. I think the interview is, um, it's very thorough. So that it, like if you have, if you already have experience dealing with people, then it's, it's a lot easier. And, you know, you get accepted right away. Um, it's just the orientation. There, there are a lot of orientations. We are given a bunch of books and, you know, um, a bunch of um, sources that we can study from. You know, children's psychology and all that. So, it's, it's. I would say, if you, if you really want to, you know, excel at what you do, they give you all the sources that you need to. And now you've all been there for, uh, you've been, Steve, a couple of years, actually. Mm -hmm. And Iman and, and um, um, Eli have, are fairly new to the program, a year maybe, or mm -hmm. not even that. Mm -hmm. um, would you recommend it to others? Uh, I know that they're in the recruiting process now, so. I definitely would recommend it. I mean, I never saw myself in an elementary school setting um, prior to being in one, and once I'm once I've been here for a few months, for half a year, um, it, it's such a great place to both for the students to grow as well for um, the members to grow. Uh, and so, even if it's not what you want to do as your career, I think um, it is a great place to find yourself. Even great, I think so too. I I think that the greatest thing somebody can do for someone is teach them something. And it doesn't have to be academic. It can be like something about life or anything. And, and you know, the kids are so young and it's great to know that you're impacting their lives, you know, in such a positive way at such a young age. And it's definitely going to benefit them in the long run. Just to know that somebody was there for them and gave them just this personal attention. You, you become their role models. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's a wonderful feeling. Yeah. Steve? Uh, it's been a wonderful experience for me. <coughs> Uh, I couldn't be more impressed with the AmeriCorps staff to which I've been exposed. Uh, I, w I would just add, uh, I think that if one is thinking of doing this kind of work in an elementary school setting or a high school setting, uh, it would be an awfully good idea if the person who's thinking about that introspects a little and satisfies himself or herself that he or she genuinely likes kids. Uh, but if you do, uh, their, their rewards can be fantastic, not least of which is being around so many other adults who share that with you. Well, thank you. The three of you are just amazing spokespeople for the program. Um, they can be very proud of, of the three of you. And if people want to find out more about the program, we will be running the telephone number and contact information uh, for the Learning Works um, AmeriCorps program, and uh, I think it just sounds lovely. Thank you, both, all three of you, for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. having Thank us. You.